Hello, in this video I'd like to demonstrate a connectivity solution between native iOS applications and applications deployed in Flash Media Server. Specifically, I'm going to be covering the functionality available in the communication library for iOS we have built, uh, which provides native implementation of the RTMP protocol, enabling at this point only data messaging, and in the near future also providing functionality for video and audio streaming. So to demonstrate data messaging, I do have Flash Media Server deployed uh, with two custom applications. As you can see right here, I have two apps. One of them is called Callback Demo and the other is Method Invocation. And for both of these applications, I have created server-side action script, which you can see right here. So this one is Method Invocation and uh, just some logging when the application starts as well as a bunch of different methods, all of them uh, accepting an argument and returning it back, thus implementing an echo functionality. Super trivial. So as you can see right here, echo and uh, the client will be sending an integer, and the server-side code just echoes this integer value back. The same thing happens with echo float, echo string. In this particular case, the client sends an array of strings, the client iterates, I mean the server iterates over the values in the array and sends it back. In the next method, it is going to be an array of integers. And finally, in echo array list, it's going to be an array of, diff, of data of different data types. There will be some strings, some integers, and so on. So to, to deploy the server-side code, I created um, a folder method invocation under applications in my Flash Media Server installation and simply place this code in there. To run this code, I'm simply going to create an instance of this application. Now, uh, this is my Windows installation, but since I'm running on the Mac, I also have uh, an instance of Xcode right here. And uh, there is a bunch of different sample applications in this particular project. And this project is included into the distribution of the communication library for iOS. So when you download this library from themidnightcoders.com, you will see all of these examples included into the download. So you can run it by yourself as well. So in this case, I'm simply going to run this client invoke application in a, in a simulator. My application is now running and I can have both uh, my Windows box and my simulator side by side. Before I connect to my Flash Media Server, I need to find out the IP address of the box where the Media Server is running. In order to do, in order to do that, I'm going to launch command prompt and run ipconfig slash all. So here you can see that the IP address is 10.0.1.11. Now we can connect. The application is connected. In fact, we should be able to see that particular connection. Here it is, one client connected to this application. And at this point, I can start invoking these methods directly from my iPhone application. Uh, the application response uh, on the server side reports a log message saying that it received the invocation. And uh, on the client side, it just displays the result of that particular invocation. So in this case, we're sending integer and receiving the integer back, just like we saw that in the actual code for, for the server-side function. So for all the other functions, they will do exactly the same thing. We'll accept the value, log it, and respond back uh, with the same value to the client. So here we're sending a float, a string, and the various methods for sending and receiving arrays. Once again, the source code for this application is included with the example, which in its turn is included with the distribution of the communication library for iOS. It's a very, very straightforward example. As you can see, the integration between Objective-C and server-side action script is working beautifully here. Okay, the next example that I would like to demonstrate is the ability to invoke client-side functions directly from the server-side code. In this case, I do have another application that I have created. In this case, the application is called Callback Demo. I'm going to create an instance of this application. We'll disconnect this client. And in my Xcode, 
I'm going to run another application which uh, receives invocations from the server. And this one is called server invoke. Let me run server invoke example. And now I need to connect it to my Flash Media server. So once again, the IP address is 10.0.1.11. I'm going to connect. Connection is established. Now let's review the server side code for the callback demo application. In this case, here's the source code. And as you can see, the custom code is as soon as a client connects, the server will display to the log. Uh, message the ID of the client that is connecting. It will accept the connection and then will iterate over all the existing connections and report that the particular client has connected by invoking this particular in, uh, method client connected and passing the ID of the connecting client. The same thing happens on the uh, disconnect event. So as soon as the client disconnects it will go and iterate over all the existing connections and will invoke client disconnected. So in this case, this client has connected and uh, the server reports uh, to the same client that it has connected. Now, this, the, the best way to see this example is with multiple clients. And in order to demonstrate uh, the connectivity between iOS and as well as integration with various uh, other uh, RTMP-enabled clients, I put together a Flex application, which also connects to exactly the same uh, FMS app. And uh, I'm going to start this app so we can see both iOS device and a Flex client uh, connecting and receiving those callbacks from the server. You can see my Flash Builder project right here. And uh, there is a very basic implementation which simply connects to my FMS server and uh, establishes this application as the client and this net connection. And these are the callback methods invoked by FMS. So this way when we run the Flex client in tandem with a iOS client, we will be able to see those callbacks coming in uh, into both client environments. Okay, so this is the first Flex client connecting, and uh, you can see that uh, there is a callback coming in into both Flex and uh, iOS. I'm going to create an additional copy of this browser. And launch a second client. So here it is, it's coming in. Now if I close this particular tab, a disconnect will be sent back into both iOS and Flex. Here is client disconnected and we got the ID of the disconnected clients. Likewise, if we disconnect iOS, there is going to be a callback coming into ActionScript. So here it is, client disconnected. And then if we connect again, here it is, client connected comes in into Flex, which demonstrates that uh, callbacks are working from FMS into both uh, iOS environment as well as ActionScript.